I'm Samantha McKelvey for It's Relevant News, and here's a look at some of our top stories in arts and entertainment in Stamford. Downtown Stamford was decorated with some colorful and unique places to sit this summer. Each summer, the Downtown Special Services District displays an outdoor sculpture exhibit as part of its Art in Public Places initiative. The theme for this year's exhibit was street seats, and it featured 40 originally designed painted wooden benches installed throughout the downtown. After being on display all summer, the benches were auctioned off, with a portion of the proceeds benefiting the Palace Theater and Curtain Call. They are multi-purpose. There are seats, for one thing. They're colorful. They're artistic. They add a bit of, a bit more of a luster to the doldrum of the city and the scenery, so to speak. The Stanford Historical Society reopened its doors this spring after closing last summer for renovations. The organization celebrated its grand reopening this April with a special new exhibit inspired by the revamp. Our exhibit is called Spotlight from the Dark Corners of the Attic. And we came up with the title because we were basically tearing this building apart, moving everything around, and finding all kinds of objects that we we knew we're here, but we hadn't seen in a very long time. The Historical Society also celebrated the 100th year anniversary of the building that's been its home since the 1980s, with an exhibit highlighting the history of Stanford education. The exhibit School Days opened in September and will be on display through July. Sacred Heart University's Film and Television Master's program in Stanford is the first and only in Connecticut, and this year it hosted its first film festival in the city. Students showcased their work at various locations throughout the downtown, including the Avon Theater, the Palace Theater, and the Stanford Innovation Center. The festival also featured screenings, guest speakers, and master classes. The FTMA program is hoping to build a stronger film culture in the state. That's what we're looking for, people, you know, people with a diversity of stories, but, but their own voice, and we really want to hone and develop their voice, because that's what makes them unique. Another first in Stanford this year, a new language exchange social event. The event was brought to the city by Greenwich resident Kimberly Baker after she stumbled on it while studying in Paris. Described as speed dating with a twist, the event pairs off participants to have 12-minute conversations, 6 minutes in English, and 6 in French. Baker plans to continue the event in Stanford and will soon launch sessions in New York. It's just a fun way for me, people to meet people, especially for people to practice their conversational skills. Just like, let's say, you know, someone who does live in Greenwich and speaks French at a pretty intermediate, advanced level. It's like, who, where are you going to speak, have a conversation with someone? You're going to lose those skills without a face-to-face -face conversation that you're having on a somewhat regular basis. I'm Samantha McKelvey, and that's what made news this year for Stanford Arts and Entertainment.